Hi, I'm Noah Marlowe. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of the Shiva at Code's Leadership Newsletter, and I'd like to share for a few words of Torah with you. In this week's parsha, Hashem says to the Jewish people, Tzedek Tzedek Raman Tzedek Yerashda Eta Aretz, Asher Hashem Rokecha Mitzvah. Righteous is righteousness you should pursue in order for you to live and inherit the land that Hashem your God has given to you. What's difficult with this pasuk is that Hashem is saying that the Jewish people should use Tzedek, righteousness, as a means to receive life to receive the land of Israel, to inherit the land of Israel. But it's not tzedek, justice, a merit in its own right. In addition to this, Rav Aaron Lichtenstein Zatzal, on an essay about Torah Lishma, discusses an essay by F.H. Bradley titled, Why Should I Be Moral? And F.H. Bradley has a difficulty with the title of his essay because he, he recognizes that the idea of morality is that it can't be, morality can't be a means to an end because it contradicts its, its own the own, its own idea of ethical idealism. So how is it possible that the Jewish people can be commanded to pursue after justice? Rabbi Jonathan Seth discusses an idea of the power of justice. The first person in Tanakh to stand up for justice is Abraham Avinu. Abraham challenges the status quo when God reveals to him his plans to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Abraham responds, Abraham responds is one of mortal courage, he challenges Hashem and he says, how is it possible that a righteous person and a wicked person can both be punished with death? How is that, how is that justice? How can it be that the judge of all the earth is not upholding justice? This begins, the question begins to shift. Is God purposely being purposely giving out injustice, or does he want human moral responsibility? Prior to Hashem's announcement to Abraham of, his, of the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, Hashem says in a thought that he shares with his audience, per se, Hashem says, Abraham says, Hashem says, should I hide this from Abraham? Should I tell him that I'm going to destroy Sodom? He says, I have to. I have to give them the able, I have to give them the ability to, perf- to pursue after Sadak and Mishpah. God has to share his moral conscience with Abraham because the moral imperative is meant to be fulfilled through the descendants of Abraham which doesn't include just the Jews, since Abraham was an Arab among the Lee, a father of many nations, but many people. Judaism is not a religion of apathetic silence, but of God's call to responsibility. So my last question here is why is the reward of tzedek life? And I'd like to suggest that the idea is that God has a covenant with man, that if man promotes justice, man is able to live and to contribute to the world and to flourish but without justice, it's impossible for man to constantly live. Shabbat Shalom.